have you seen growth from when you started to where you are now? You know, in some situations, yes. I mean, it's still you can tell that we're at like practice 12 instead of, you know, practice, you know, 18 or 20. And that's kind of the, the issue when, you know, we don't have a chance to be able to do two days because we can't start until the uh, Monday that August 15th falls into. And then it's actually when we start classes. So, you know, to be able to have two practices plus classes and everything is, is probably going to ask for probably some problems when it comes to their academics etc so so you know we're we're probably a little behind offensively where we'd like to be right now but we've got we got this next week obviously we got another game so hopefully that gets us a little bit more locked in and then and then we got a week until we get to our to our our kcac um opponents and you know all our games are important um with what we're doing but you know the kcac determines whether we get into the playoffs or not today's practice uh well after today's practice you mentioned the offense being a little bit behind uh do you do you feel like the offensive line is going to be coming together pretty well starting to gel well today was actually the first day i think that we had the assemblance of our five here um we've had either uh, injuries or um you know missed out paperwork or or different things that have kept us from being able to have them to work consistently so now that that has passed with us you know i'm hoping that you know we've got sunday we give them mondays off so we'll come back tomorrow and watch some film on this come out and walk through some things but then you got tuesday wednesday thursday and we'll do something friday morning before we head to uh oklahoma to be able to to play on this weekend but That'll give us, a, you know, another four or five days of, you know, working together, which I think really makes a big difference in being able to gel. Defensively, how, how do you feel like you guys are at this point of uh, preseason? Well, we look really good, you know, right now. And it's, uh, it's um, I'm hoping that it's just because our defense is that good. Because there are, I mean, we got some talented people. Jacob Garcia is so hard to, to, to block. And, um, Colby Johnson in the you know at our linebackers and our, our secondary has really been playing very very strong. Um, you know we're just not very deep there, but we are pretty good there. And I, you know I think that they're doing a great job with Coach Davis's new defense. I mean they're running around, they're making plays, they're communicating, and uh, you know they've tried to keep it you know fairly simple because it's new to them, um, so they can play. And, and they're doing a really good job of that. So. You know, I've told you in the past, you, you play at the beginning of the year, you got to count on your defense at the beginning of the year for sure. What is it over this next week that you are looking for growth-wise and, and for uh, what that are you're looking for uh, growth? Let's just leave it at that. I, I think the most important thing is just to become consistent, you know, at what we're doing. So, you know, it's, it's listening, you know, most of our things today with our mistakes were not listening, not hearing, not communicating. Well, I thought he said this and I thought he said that. I mean, you know, we run a, we're running a third, a, a third overtime, you know, simulation. And, and I'm even the one in the huddle and I say the formation three times loudly to everybody. And I said, you got it. And everybody said, yes. And our tight end goes out there and goes on the wrong side. Um, so it's, it's, it's trying to get them to tune down the noise, being able to focus and then becoming consistent. And that's, that's really, you know, uh, um, coach Davis said a great one and it's, it's great because we're a liberal arts college. He says, defense is like a jazz band, you know, jazz band, rock band, you can play different notes and be a little off. And if it's loud enough, nobody really knows, but offense is a symphony and you will know when you hear the wrong note on the on the offensive side of the ball and that's what we have to do is just we got to turn it we're a little bit more rock bandish on offense right now we got to turn it into a symphony coach thank you you're welcome